But it has emerged now that there's been a sharp decline in the number of white people applying to university. So there's been a 5% fall this year. But applications for people from black and British Asian backgrounds have both increased. And I wondered why this is. I'm joined now by Matt Goodwin, who's a professor of politics at the University of Kent. Matt, great to have you on. Thank you very, very much. Hi, so Patrick. what is going on here then? Is this anything to do with disadvantaged working class white boys that we hear? Well, tragically, a little about, actually. Or is this maybe people getting practical trades? What's going on? Yeah, well, the short answer, Patrick, is we, we're not entirely sure what's going on. But what we can see is that the overall share of applications to universities among white British students is, is down. And they're the only group to record this decline relative to other groups within the higher education system. And I would really view these statistics within the context, Patrick, of that group consistently now underperforming other groups, not just at uh, in universities, but actually at every level of the educational uh, system. So this is really, I think, good, give, it gives us good reason to look at this more closely. I think it's something that we should take very seriously. And to be frank, Patrick, this is a group that, as you said in your opening comments, particularly the white working class kids, they're not really the kids that are getting a, a sufficient amount of attention within the universities relative to other groups. So we do need to find out what's going on. We need to find out whether they're leaving for other trades, whether they're uh, simply no longer interested in universities and whether the universities themselves are, are, are devoting sufficient attention to these students. Should we be having specific scholarships for working class white people? Well, it's an interesting point because a few years ago, some of the some of your viewers might remember that Stormzy had a um, uh, scholarship program for black British kids to get into Oxbridge. Uh, and there was a similar scheme that had been advocated to help uh, white working class kids get into private school. And that was rejected on the grounds that it was uh, potentially seen to be discriminatory. Uh, some of your viewers will also have picked up on the story last week of a school in London offering um, black British pupils uh, additional classes that were not open uh, to white British uh, kids. Um, and I think what why people find this so frustrating, why I find it so frustrating uh, as a researcher and a researcher and somebody who works in the universities, is white working class kids are consistently the worst performers at every level of the educational system. And we know that universities have not invested the same amount of effort at recruiting those kids uh, as they've invited as they've invested in recruiting other kids. So there is an imbalance here, I think, and it's an imbalance that we need to look at, we need to take very seriously, because lots of mums and dads out there will probably be thinking, well, hang on a minute, what's going on? No, it, indeed. And it, it is fascinating. I know you talk a lot about the kind of new elites, really, isn't it? But I wonder whether or not a lot of those new elites who are traditionally maybe white and have, have garnered a fair bit of wealth, dare I say it, maybe went to private school themselves or send their white children to private school and onwards to university and into a variety of different jobs, actually secretly and subtly at the back of their minds don't want anybody else to have the same opportunities that they or their kids had. And so they try to champion some kind of diversity and maybe trample on the necks of some of the people coming after them. Is there any truth to that, do you think? Well, if you look at the evidence of higher education over the last 30, 40 years, what you can see is that the children of professional, managerial, um, uh, new elite types um, have tended to benefit much more than other kids from uh, it, it gaining access to Russell Group and Oxbridge U University. So that that is without question what what's happened. Now, in recent years, in fairness to the universities, they've they've been trying to close some of those gaps. But time and time again, we see that certain courses are open to minority students, which aren't open to their white British counterparts. There was a recent story of a postgraduate uh, scheme at Cambridge, for example, that was open to um, students from minority okay. ethnic backgrounds, but was not mm. uh, open to their white counterparts. So okay. th these cases, these examples really pull back the curtain, I think, mm. at, 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 at showing something here is not right. There is an imbalance that we need to take very seriously and explore.